Hello everyone, this is Dimitris and today I'm gonna show you how you make a perfect render with Cinema 4D. Here we can add a cube, sphere maybe, uh, a cone. Let's make it by shift, select all, alt G, make them a null object and then go to array, put that under side under the array let me uh, make copies like 52 and then bigger and then array frequency something like that so first of all we have to choose the material uh, I will just pick a color like uh, a red one Reflection, this is the important part, and I will just um, leave it brightness 100%, then go to here, texture, and then Fresnel, and then by adjusting these uh, brightness and uh, mix strength, you can achieve really great results. Also, I'm going to make a really big cube, it means 2000 by 2000 by 2000. So now we are inside this cube, let's make another material by double clicking on the empty space here, disable the color, disable the specular, just luminance 100% of white. This is what I'm going to make to the cube, so we have a big light box and the red material that, that we previously made is now uh, the main object that uh, we uh, made. So let's uh, just push uh, render, see the results. And this is absolutely great. Uh, I'm, I'm going to put a capsule inside just to, to show you that it's affecting the light. Uh, I'm going to make um, no color, no specular, just luminance so it will be light. And I'm going to make it light blue I'm going to drag it on the capsule and then here I will make the color a little less intense so it can reflect more. Okay, that looks good. Let me hit render. And here we can see some reflections. And now I will show you the settings of the renderer. So we go to render settings, general full render. Output, here we, we have to uh, choose the image uh, dimensions. And the aliasing, this is quite important settings. Mean level, I just put one by one max level. You can go up to 16 by 16 but 2x2 two two is a lot faster. But the most important settings is you go to effect global illumination. So here we choose GI mode to IR still image and then irradiance cast medium and medium and we are ready to roll. Just hit render and this is the result that is going to take. In the next episode I'm going to show you how you can make these settings always as default and uh, you have the preloaded material here in order for every next time that you open a new Cinema 4D file the settings are saved. So until next time, thank you guys, bye!